Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. Today, I have for you guys my BoxyCharm unboxing. This month's theme is Boxy Charm. Okay, so this month's theme is Boxy Charm Whimsy. And I have tried out every single thing in this box already. Everything being back in its packaging is just for show. So, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and start off in the same order that it is on the paper. So the first thing that you actually get is this. Okay, first of all, let me say, I loved this month's box. I got everything I was hoping for in this month's box. Obviously I got to pick one of those things, but the number one thing that I was really, really hoping that I got out of the eyeshadow palettes was the Robin Hood palette and I got it. And the only reason I wanted this is because I don't have any eyeshadow palettes that have this green shade or any green shades like that. Well, now I do because I bought some makeup but anyways i didn't or any golds like this like yellow golds or anything like that so i was just really excited to get this palette i have done a look with it but i don't have a demo of me doing it so i'll at least insert insert the pictures and in that look i used every single color in this eyeshadow palette i took this in the crease i took a little bit of this on the outer v and in the crease as well and then i took a little bit of this on the outer V because this green shade was actually really kind of patchy. Now, I don't know if that was the primer's fault because I used a different, um, or the concealer's fault because I used a different concealer to cut my crease and where I applied this over that concealer to blend that line, it stuck really, really well. So I'm thinking it maybe it was the concealer that I used to prime my entire lid and I don't remember what concealer it was that I used, but when I used the CoverGirl concealer to cut my crease, it actually stuck really well. So I do need to play with this some more, but like I said, the first time I did play with this, I did have some trouble with the color, with the pigment sticking to my eyelid and it would kind of just blend away and get patchy. But other than that, this this shimmer's good and that shimmer's really good. They're really beautiful and very va va voom. And this actually retails for $35. Okay, the next thing was a choice product, and this is what I picked. I picked the Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Glacier Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. This says an anti-aging glacier water cream that delivers mineral-rich moisture while protecting skin from free radicals, a fusion of ferments, amino acids, and plant extracts help calm skin while boosting vitality and sup and suppleness. And this is just what it looks like. I do have a demo that you guys are looking at right now of me applying this. I've used it about three times now. I really, really like it. Now this is a little bit thicker than what I thought. So I just take this the slightest amount off of the lid and then that's what I apply to my face. And it's a, like I said, when you think of water cream, well, I mean, it says cream, but for some reason when I heard water, I felt like it was gonna feel like, oh, almost like a gel moisturizer, but it literally does feel like a thick cream, but not as heavy, if that makes sense. And I really like it. I love the way it makes my skin feel. I love how hydrated it makes my skin feel. And I'm actually replacing the moisturizer I'm using right now with this one to see if that moisturizer is the reason why I'm breaking out. And I know it's kind of dumb to replace it with something I've never tried, but We'll see, we'll see. But I do like the way that this makes my skin feel. And this retails for $39. The next thing I have is this Ciate London Marble Lights Illuminating Blusher. This says add a radiant flush of color to your complexion with marbled light illuminate, illuminating blush. Formulated without talc, this lightweight buildable formula has a blend of matte pigments and finely milled illuminating particles. Okay, so this is just what this looks like. You guys can see a demo of me applying this. It's actually what I have on today. And it's actually really, really pretty. Now, when you see in that video, build it up slowly because all of a sudden it's like, boom. But like I said, it does give you like a pretty, it even has like a little mirror in it, you guys. Like, look, 
I, look how tiny that mare is and then obviously you can see the packaging is reflective but yeah it actually looks really really pretty now that I'm looking at it up close I love the color I love how it complements my skin tone so yeah and this little blush right here retails for $26 okay and the next thing I have is this Aesthetica Pro Series brush cleaner and conditioner prolong the life of your favorite makeup brushes with the Aesthetica Pro Series cleanser a conditioner specifically formulated effectively to remove accumulated makeup and dirt from your cherished makeup tools. Now the demo that I did, I cleaned a sponge and it actually, I really only needed one application of this, but because I'm so used to having to go in multiple times with a cleaner to clean out my sponges, um, I didn't need that second application of this cleanser. It got everything out of my sponge with the one application of cleanser, which was really great because I've never been able to clean a sponge with just one like one time through which was really really awesome and so i really really like this and this it retails for twelve dollars okay and the last thing i got in the brush in the brush kit in the boxy charm is this brow bar and you'll see an applica uh, demo of me applying this as well this brow bar true glam makeover brow kit and now i got mine in the shade medium it comes with a brush it comes with a brow gel it comes with a light brown powder a dark brown powder and then a little cream concealer to cl clean up your brows. Now, this was a lot more creamy than I expected it to be. And it cleaned up my brows really, really good. Like, to the point to where I didn't need to highlight my brow bone with eyeshadow powder. And so, I'm not mad at this. This is actually really, really pretty. This is something I might use on days where I don't have the time to go in with a brow pencil. But I could just take something like this and fill them in really fast. Now, this brow gel has a little bit of a red tint to it and so it kind of offset my brows just a tiny bit just a little bit just a little bit and that brow bar um it says saw your brows like a pro with the ultimate brow kit designed with two long wearing brow shades brightening brow lift sculpting mascara gel angled brush and a flat brow brush and that retails for $30. Like I said, you guys, I really, really love this box. It does retail now for $25 a month. And that actually with the tax and I believe shipping, it comes out to $27 a month. I miss it whenever it's just 21 flat, but now it's 27 really. And I'm going to be blunt with you guys. Um, like I said, it's $27 a month. I'm really like this month's box. The overall value is $142 for this month's box and you only pay $27 for it. So you're not like, you're barely even paying like a fraction of what all the products are worth. Now, granted, like I've never heard of Brow Bar. I've never heard of Aesthetica. That's just me personally. Some of you may have heard of those brands. And like I said, every Everything's really good like I don't have a complaint about anything in this month's box like everything performed excellent and so yeah I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to try it out I love you guys but always remember that Jesus loves you more if you haven't already go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you like more beauty videos go ahead and also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.